As scenes like this featuring flashing lights and police tape continue to take over communities across New Haven, Mayor Justin Elliker says the city is responding to the rise in violence with many initiatives. Increasing walking beats and bicycle beats, uh, doubling the number of street outreach workers, working with parole and probation to increase uh, custom visits, uh, Project Safe Neighborhoods and Project Longevity that engage uh, very proactively with uh, individuals that are uh, returning citizens. Also part of those initiatives is the New Haven Reentry Welcome Center on Grand Avenue, which is run by Project MORE an organization that provides support to ex-offenders. The center is a place where people who were previously incarcerated can go and get help to successfully re-enter their communities. Over 900 people come out of prison every year and back to New Haven. And Connecticut's recidivism rate is 60% within the first three years of someone coming out of prison. Our goal is to support those who are re-entering and to not have them either re-offend or become victim of crime. The city describes this reentry center as a one stop shop where people can get all kinds of support with things like housing, job training, and substance abuse treatment. Since opening in February of this year, Welcome Center Director Keisha Gaddinson says about 72 people have been helped here. We have had some who were convicted of violent crimes in the past, even prior to this uh, endeavor, um, who have been able to regain custody of their children, regain um, stable housing, employment, gone from part-time to full-time employment. Now Senator Richard Blumenthal is calling for more investment in the federal reintegration of ex-offenders program. Connecticut and specifically New Haven have received about $1.5 million recently announced in late June, but that amount ought to be multiplied. The Welcome Center will benefit from that grant, advancing the mission to produce more success stories. Reporting in New Haven, Angelo Bavaro, Fox 61 News.